Hey, Sexy! You, you, you're a bit, a bit more. player in a while! Yeah. Come on, United! Come 3-1 Manchester United. Come on, United! A prediction, by the way. I found a game one earlier. Say it again. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's an exciting day. It's the opening day of the Premier League season. Now, today, whether you ask for it or not, whether you like it or not, you come with me on this journey to Old Trafford. My predictions for this game, I reckon, well, first of all, the lineup. Been some reports. We don't expect Xerxes to start. Ten Hag didn't come out with some positive quotes about Xerxes, unfortunately. The Licht is available. It's not easy being told, by the way, guys. This is the middle of the train, but the in between doors bit. Anyway, the Licht could start. Masrari could start. I expect both of them to start. Dalo, the Licht, Licha, Anana in goal, Masrari left back, Casemiro, Maino, Bruno, Mount. Rashford Ahmad is what I think is going to be the starting lineup. What I hope to see as well. You're joining me, you're going to see some of the lads, some of the SDS lads, some other well known Manchester United fans that we're going to meet out there. Hopefully, going to be a brilliant day, a brilliant day out, a brilliant weekend. Cheers, star. Uh, you keep making that noise, man. But it should be a brilliant, brilliant experience. Come with me. Let's go. Cool. Here we are, landed in Manny. United shirt day are. Got a nice little room here, nice little situation. Now we're heading off. I saw Cam's earlier. Um, I'm going to link up with him. We're going to go head off to the stadium a bit early. Get there, feel the vibes, see what the people are saying. Hail up some of the man, I'm going to be there. You're coming with me, though. You're going to see all of this anyway. So let's go. Come on, United. A prediction, by the way. I found a game on earlier. Say it again. 2 1 United. Let's go. On the way now. We're in Manny. And I'm here with my brother, Culture Cam's. Yes. Hey, right. YouTube channel on the way, yeah? Come on, my friend. Come on, man. Hey. Big game, mm -hmm. first game of the season. Mm -hmm. We need to get off to a good start, man. Mm -hmm. That's the most important thing. We need that three points. So let's go, man. Let's go. Give us your match predictions quickly. Obviously, we've seen the lineup. Actually, quick thoughts on the lineup. Uh, I would have wanted the lit to start, but obviously, probably not fit enough at yeah. the moment. Hopefully, next week he can start. Yeah. But with the lineup, I thought it was going to be that lineup. Happy yeah, yeah. to see Mace in the, in the, in the starting 11. Yeah. I'm praying. I'm really need a good performance from Mason Mount, man. Honestly, um, but I'm gonna. I'm so happy with the lineup. Ahmad got his kept his place. Ganacho's on the bench. We know he makes impact with the bench. He's ready. Ahmad's got to perform because yeah. Ganacho's chomping he's at like, a bit. Oh, he's coming under the pitch and making sure he's impacting the game every time. Exactly. Sancho not in the squad. I just don't understand what's happened all summer. You know what I mean? I just don't understand why it has taken him to get into the, for the Premier League first game of the season to come and him not be in the squad. You know what I mean? So let's just end this saga, find a club for him and we move on. Do you know what I mean? Match predictions, brother. Match prediction. I'm going 3-1 Manchester United. Come on, United! <laughs> Almost, almost. <laughs>
Yes, we're back here full time. Man United win 1 0 against Fulham. Joshua Xerxes, scrappy winner. Hmm. And breathe. And breathe, but didn't someone call that in the game? Let it be known. Let it be known. Around 30 minutes left, I looked at abs. I said, bro, there's only one way we're winning this game. This game screams no nil yeah. unless yeah. late, yeah. scrappy, last minute winner from Xerxes. Wow. Lo and behold. Wow. Harry Maguire. Man of the match for me. Incredible. Incredible. Hit. I, I, would, I would say, excuse me, I know it's your channel, my fault. <laughs> I'm taking this over. <laughs> I think Maguire and then uh, Mazraoui on his debut as well, too. Incredible. They were immense, genuinely. Xerxes did come on and impact the game, but to be fair, even yourself, you're questioning whether in, in, in the first portion of his cameo, is he really impacting the game? Same with Garnacho. Were those subs a mistake? How do you reflect on those subs? I, I was the one who was calling for the same thing, so I can't be too harsh on Tenag in that regard. But I, I just think Xerxes had to start really like he wasn't. I don't think he touched the ball for 25 no, minutes. No, no. Once he started going into the game, okay, you can see the quality that he possesses. And after the goal. The confidence through the roof. Of course. Yeah. Of course. The flicks, the tricks, it's all on display. Uh, I, I think Ahmad is a little unfortunate. I, he lost the ball a few times. You could tell Tanag. He's the, he's the young guy. He's the new guy. So I don't think Rashford was ever going to come off in that situation. Garnacho had, had his moments. Yeah. He, I mean, he could have scored towards the end. Yeah. And, and the thing with Garnacho is even when he's not at his best, he's still creating. So I think you always want to play like that on the pitch. And we got uh, someone get crashing on interview right now. Lee, man, talk, talk. How do you feel the game? I think... It went okay. I don't think it was the best of games. I think first half was decent. Mm. Second half was a bit shaky. We, we were a bit, a bit the more... the best player in the world! He's not lying there. He's not lying there. He might be the best man. Haaland? Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah. But no, nah, second half was a bit shaky. Yeah. I think there were there were gaps, a lot of gaps in the second half. There were opportunities for Fulham where they could have. They could have hurt us. 100%. But overall, I don't think it was a bad performance. Mm. I think it was okay. Mm. Uh, not enough clear-cut chances for me. Mm. But at the end of the day, Clean sheet, three talk to points, me about, talk, to, the talk to me about um, Bruno Fernandes and Mason Mount's performances, brother. Mason Mount had an alright game. I don't think he had a bad I game. Okay, Bruno, though. Hmm. I didn't think either of them were great. I, I didn't think either of them had to be I didn't think either Bruno, of them were great. Bruno, Bruno, I, I think Mount, yeah. I think he, he didn't did, impact he, the game. He didn't, impact, he didn't have anything impactful in the game, yeah. but his passes were neat. You could see that he's building his confidence. That's what I, mean. I, don't know, I don't know how where you guys were, but for yeah. us, it looked like he was linking up well with Manu, yeah. linking up well with Ahmad. Yeah. And like his link up play was good. I just think, like you said, it, there wasn't, he wasn't too impactful, but I think with time, if he can build he his confidence. Yeah, I think with confidence, he, it can get, he can get there. Isn't it? But Bruno, by the way, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a great game. Mm -hmm. I, look, I just think Mel, I don't even think you'll see him in that position again. I think Xerxes yeah. after today, yeah, yeah. I, I thought it was a bizarre decision that he didn't play in the cup or in the community shield, excuse yeah. me. But uh, I think after today, after the goal, the confidence is through the roof. I think he'll start the next game, which I think is what? Bright in a way. Yeah, I think, I think it's yeah. bright in a way. Um, I, I feel for Mount. Honestly, I was telling you during the yeah. game. I feel for him because I feel like he's playing a position almost to kind of shoehorn him in. Because as long as Bruno is there and as long as Manu are there, they're going to play in midfield, which makes me question his fit in the team. So I feel for him. He, he's he's adapting to a new role, but I don't think he's going to be playing there much longer because yeah. I think Xerxes, until at least Hoyland is back, yeah. has that position now. Mm. And I think quite right too. Brothers, thank you so much for your thoughts on the game. Come on, Isaac! Oh! Oh!